500 Twitter followers. And then you, you, you move down to uh, Gal Gadot uh, with 37 million Instagram followers compared to 3.8 million. Uh, and, you know, uh, 2 million, 2.3 million uh, Twitter followers compared to Ms. Hurd's 142,000. And you can then even go down to Zendaya with 65 point, uh, million, point 0.9 and 17.2 million uh, Twitter followers. What this is telling me is really, you know, more people are interested in Ms. Godot and Zendaya and even uh, Mr. Momoa uh, than Ms. Hurd on social media. It, it just tells me a lot of people are interested in these uh, actors as opposed to Ms. Hurd, more of a following. Q scores, well-liked, less disliked. So it kind of fits into the analysis of determining whether or not these alleged comparable actors are actually comparable. Based on your expertise, what are your overall opinions about uh, Ms. Arnold's analysis of the so-called comparable actors? Yes, again, you know, it appears that she's abandoned this approach, but and I agree with that. I, I feel that you know, through the Q score analysis and the uh, uh, social media analysis, that they're just not comparable. <clears throat> Tom, we can take that one down. Mr. Banya, based on um, all the analysis you did in this case, what what are your overall opinions? Yes, my overall opinions are that uh, Mr. Schnell failed to prove any causal connection with the Waldman statements and the uh, uh, search or the uh, hashtag activity, those spikes, as it relates to Twitter. There, there, there's no causal connection there. Um, my second opinion is, you know, based on my uh, social media and Q-score analysis, um, Ms. Arnold's comparable, alleged comparable actors are not comparable. And then third, uh, Ms. Arnold and Mr. Schnell both failed to prove any causation as it relates to the Waldman statements causing economic harm to Ms. Hurd. So, you know, as a damages expert, which um, uh, Ms. Arnold is, uh, you, you need to take into consideration causation before you can calculate damages. You look at damages and you look at this allegedly damaging event, and not only do you have to prove that 100% of the damages because of these Waldman statements, she didn't even consider uh, COVID. It happened at the same time. You know, a lot of actors probably made a lot less money because of COVID. Maybe films didn't get made. And, you know, when you do, do an analysis of, of damages, you prove causation, but you also have to look at everything else that might have caused this alleged economic harm. And she didn't look into any of that. She didn't even know what causation was. So I don't think of the damages is the, the appropriate approach in this case. No further questions, Your Honor. All right. Cross-examination.